Hey guys, thought I'd do a little tour of the printing room and uh, show you around a bit. So here we have the Prusa Minis. This one's with the .4, this one's got a .25, and this one's got a .4. This one's recently um, been flashed with clipper firmware. So experimenting on that to see how fast I can push it. Just cause why not? So. This is the cube it did after some input shaping and cranking it a bit fast. I think it's still got a bit more in it. This one here is a Mark 3S Plus with the MMU. So it mostly just prints PLA majority of the time. It's just got a print on there for work, just for escalator switches. This one here is a Mark 3S with the MMU uh, 12 mod, so it's got 12 channels instead of the usual 5. So it's also got the screen, it tells it what it's doing, any faults in that come on, which tells you what's going on there. It's got the touch screen, octo print, and it's fed by my custom uh, dry box. They're just broomstick handles on spools with some custom made brackets that are screwed to the outside. Go through these PTFE tubes and down into my custom made tube holder. So it's just 4x4, four four, the same as the way that the filaments are loaded into the boxes. Another Mark 3S with the MMU, just with the 5 on this one. So this does lots of the black printing. So you've got ABS, ASA, carbon fiber and PLA all loaded into it so you just pick whatever material and this prints it used to have the screen on it but got smashed off by the chair pretty rookie um, rookie spot for a screen so that didn't last very long over here we have the Voron so this is the 350 by 350 um, sized one done a couple of little mods to it, it's got the screwed on hinges but those hinges aren't um, made for these panels, they're made for a 3mm panel so as you can see there's a little bit of gap there so I remade them with a um, bit shallower hinge so that should rem remove the 3mm gap so I've got to put them on I've got the Enraged Rabbit Carrot Feeder all printed up ready to go just waiting on the kit to arrive from the States. It's got the Arlec LED lights just from Bunnings about $20. $20. They do a pretty good job lighting up the enclosure. This is the Triangle Labs um, PEI sheet, so smooth on one side, textured on the other side. It's got the purge brush and bucket setup. So I used to do a purge line over here all the time, as you can see. But now I just use the, bu the brush, purge into there, and then cleans it off. Um, it's also got the clicky probe. So it gets mounted on here. Like so. Uh, it's got the, it's running the spider board with the clipper firmware. It's got the Big Tree Tech smart filament sensor. So I've got it detecting every 10 mil of filament. So if it gets any kind of clog and not extruding 10 mil of filament, then it's going to pause. So it's come in handy before. I had a, um, a knot on the spool there, so it wasn't able to extrude. And after 10 mil, it paused and saved the day. So that's already paid for themselves. That's pretty cheap. I think it's only like $12 or something. And it's probably an eight hour print it was in at the time. So saved eight hours of printing. Got all your basic tools, all your different pliers, screwdrivers, heaps of different Allen keys. You end up getting a lot of Allen keys when you get a lot of printer kits. Uh, heaps of different tapes, paper towel, cleaning stuff, you're always cleaning. The amount of dust that ABS kicks up when it's printing, it's just a constant battle. This is the PC setup. So I've got the Logitech. G49 on the left here with the Acer Predator Z35. So your modeling tools, some fillet gauges that are 3D printed, 
helps out a lot trying to get I used to have to guess the curves and trial and error but with those make it so much easier so knife set calipers all your basic tools this is the computer running at all so it's an AMD Ryzen 9 3950X 16 core processor paired with a 3080 um, GPU that crypto mines when it's not in use hence all the fans to keep it nice and cold normally sits at around 80 degrees when it's mining used to be about 110 before all the fans so it really brought down the temps a lot so that just runs 103 mega hash all day long whenever I'm not using it over here we have the storage for all the 3D prints so I've scaled down the prints and stuck them on the front there just for a quick reference on when things in so if you wanted an F badge in here you've got all the different F badges down here for cup holders makes it a lot easier to find stuff got to have your vacuums always cleaning up filament debris this little vacuum from Kogan goes a long way cleaning around the printers nice little compact one does the job pretty good making a, a filament storage box there so store all the different screws and stuff you collect over the years some little perspex covers are made with a little holder down there so these just slot on to those clips down there like, like so and now it's enclosed good for printing ABS this is the current project working on this mini running clipper so just tuning it out to see how fast we can crank it so they're all um, just lack enclosures that I've made all these custom brackets to link them together just to make it a bit more sturdy you can see the Voron's extra bolted down too stops it from shaking as much, pretty solid considering lack tables are normally pretty pretty shaky so it really helps out a lot to cross brace them yeah that brings me to the end of the tour hope you enjoyed my little setup definitely need a bigger room, get some more printers but uh, till then, enjoy.